that he is at the very forefront of the most important work that there is, which is trying to solve the problems of conflict, uh, whether that be military, whether that be environmental, whether that be people who are entitled to be treated with dignity. Robert has been at the very front of that very important work. Um, there wasn't a, another person who was more deserving of our award. Um, thank you, Robert, for accepting our award. Uh, what a, what a uh, pleasure to be here with all of you, many of whom I know, and also especially with Chris, who, whose portrait I painted uh, several years ago, and I've had the great pleasure to spend some time with and have enormous respect for. Uh, and also the singer, Nancy Boker, who's going to perform shortly. Uh, she and I have done several events together, and uh, you're in for a real treat to hear her. I just want to say something a little bit about persistence, I guess. I you know, began my project just in a complete rage uh, 12 and a half years ago. It was an act of necessary defiance for myself. I was so overwhelmed by this country and its people being lied into another war, how easily it was accomplished with the complicity of our, our press. And I was just desperate to feel less alienated from this country in a way, and also to see if I could find some kind of voice. And that enormous feeling of rage I had, I knew, though, would not be the one that would persuade anybody to act any differently if I just showed that through my art. I had to find some way to catalyze that emotion into and, and that energy into doing something positive, and that's where the portraits came for, from. First, just one portrait, Walt Whitman, and then it's actually a little over 200 now. I'm, you know, it's an obsessive compulsive disorder at this point. Um, but what's interesting to me about it, in a way, it just sort of from the outside of it, is how it's become uh, a big educational uh, program, you know, and it and we now at Americans Who Tell the Truth call it narrative activism, you know, trying to provide all people, but especially young people, with role models for people like Chris. You know, what do you do in a situation like this? How do you stand up to this kind of injustice? How do you organize? How do you think about what's going on in the world in some sort of way that can actually change the situation? What do you have to do to do that? And providing people, providing all people with the models that our history books and our media and our schools are not giving to young people. This is what this project has become about and I'm absolutely just amazed that I get invited you know, into so many schools to talk about um, the people I paint. I mean, I was just two days ago in a middle school up in Hamden and the, the, the students had chosen the people they wanted me to talk about. They chose Edward Snowden. They, I mean, much to the shock of, I think, of their parents and the teachers. <laughs> you know? They chose Colleen Rowley, the FBI whistleblower. They chose Rachel Corey. They chose a lot of very tough, you know, dedicated, courageous people. And we had fascinating conversations about who these people are, what they're up against, and why they had to do what they do and what it, the difference it has made. And so anyway, I am extremely grateful for this. Thank you all very much, and also incredibly grateful to be here with Chris, so thank you. I'd like to introduce Nancy Boker, another good friend of mine, who will give us a song as a tribute to Chris Hedges and Bob Shetterly. The title of her piece is Mountain Song. Nancy. We have dreamed on this mountain since we were children, and no one will take our dreams away without us watching 
They may drive a big machine, but we were born with great big spirit, and no one will take our dreams away without us fighting. This old mountain raised our many children, and some have died young. But we are still living. And if they come here to take our mountain, well, we ain't come here to give it. We keep dreaming and dreaming and dreaming on this mountain since we were children. And no one will take our dreams away without us watching no no one will take our dreams away without us fighting no 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 